Okay, let's get started. Welcome to my session. Today, I'll talk about the inner source and depth. There are so many. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Chen Zhongyi. You can call me Jerry. I have over 20 years IT experience. I'm a Mozilla Gloman Apache Committer. I'm a member of Inner Source Commerce and the Open Action Foundation in China. I'm an Inner Source Evangelist. I have a job adoption of Inner Source in Baidu and Tencent. In fact, my talk is talking about the Inner Source and DevOps. It's inspired by this talk. It's given by Fei Wang and Stephen and Tom Sander. Um, it's a community call. They talk about the inner source and DevOps the relationship. I want to extend the, the talk to a deeper. So why I think DevOps and inner source are so nice? Because they are for the same objective. They are also for improving efficiency and the mutual promotion. And uh, they are based on the same core value, open, transparent, and uh, collaborate. Yes, the, the Apache way. So what is inner source? I will skip this night because we all know what it is. And uh, this slide also. So what is DevOps? DevOps is set of practice that combine software development, dev, and IT operation ops. It aims to shorten the system development and life cycle and provide continuous delivery with high software quality. This is from Wikipedia. The benefits of DevOps is high deployment friction, shorter lead time for changes, shorter time to restore service, and the normal changes for a failure. So what's the relationship of DevOps and inner source? From state of DevOps report, don't report, it says that high performer fewer strategies that create community structure at both no and high level in the organization, which is to say that high performers in DevOps teams they are more likely to practice inner source. Why is that? Here's my deep analysis for the relationship because they are for the same objectives. They have the same values and they are mutual promotion. Here is the plan. Some objectives, same objectives, they are for improving efficiency. The purpose of inner source is to improve reuse, for the code reuse, component level reuse, and the platform reuse, they're all for reuse. Here's the diagram of DevOps. The purpose of DevOps is to close, close the collaboration between DevOps and automation is the key. Reuse and automation are the basic methods of improve efficiency. So I think that they are for the same objective, improve efficiency. Last, I'll talk about the second relationship. They are based on the same core value, open, transparent, and collaboration. Inner source is adopting the Apache way inside the company. And the core part of the Apache way is the values of open, transparent, and collaborate. Here is my understanding of the Apache way. Yes, every Apache members have their own stand understanding of the Apache way. I divided the Apache way into several parts. The core part is a value. There is no good community over code. It's just open, transparent, and collaborate. And for the value of DevOps, still open, transparent, and uh, collaborate. For example, there are several practices such as CI, CD, and build quality in and the blend post-mortem. Each practice sh should be based on the same core value. 
If not, they will not practice well. And they also and the uh, inner source the mutual promotion. Inner source can help DevOps because DevOps related the CICD tools can be built in inner source ways. And the various requirements for the inner source community can help DevOps tools refactor better. And the DevOps can help inner source also. With support tools such as code review, it's easier to make cross department contribution. And uh, with the support of our test case and a test environment, making cross department contribution could be much more confident. Here is one example. This, this example is given by uh, Comcast uh, uh, guys. Here is a continuous deployment software in Comcast. The function is to deploy bits to AWS and connect various service of AWS. It's operated via inner source way. So by the end, it enriches the function of the deployment software and have their, their own practice of multiple business inside the company. So what's the key difference between these two? The purpose of inner source is reuse, and the purpose of the apps is automation. I think this is the key difference. So how to adopt these two both for a company in our inside organization? I think strategically, the company should take efficiency improvement as part of their technology strategy. And for tools, they should support better collaboration across team and completely CICD support. And for the control, they should encourage an open, transparent, and collaborative culture and explain them in details. For strategy, very high priority. Improving efficiency is the most important thing for technology enterprise. So we should put the best engineers and keep pushing forward. And for tools, their tools should be in, built in in the way of inner source. And every inner source project should provide CICD tools, which can be easily used by attribution. And for the counterpart, we should encourage collaboration and cooperation from top to but top to bottom through performance evaluation. It's not just the collaboration between dev and ops within the object. It also includes upstream and downstream collaboration on the projects. That's all for my talks. Any questions? Here's my LinkedIn and the WeChat profile. Thanks.